All right, so ratios you should always be thinking of in terms of parts and wholes. Ratio, people tend to be um, very confused with ratios, but parts to wholes, right? So ratios um, can mean, right, it just, it, it, we, we often don't know what the actual numbers are. We just know that, like, if I have a ratio of one to two, it could literally be, um, like, let's say it's boys to girls or something. This could literally be one boy and two girls, or it could be, 10 boys and 20 girls, or it could be four boys and eight girls, just multi, like, so they're always multiplied basically by the same factor. That's the best way to think about ratios. Um, so now for this problem, it's asking if we, so if we have freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, right? So freshman, sophomore, junior to senior, right? Um, what is the probability that student will be either a freshman or a sophomore, right? So the freshman or the sophomore are these two and ones, right? So two to one, so two plus one, right? So three. And then if I want to know the total, right, so what I would put on the bottom is going to be, I'm going to add all these up together. So two plus one plus five plus three. So that would be eight and that would be 11. So the probability it's going to be either a freshman or a sophomore is going to be three to 11. Um, remember, parts to wholes. These are all the parts here and the whole would be actually adding them all up. So we would have three over 11. Answer choice C.